Okay, come in. Come in. Hi, my name is Gagadeep Gill, and I'm going to be your um, FNP student. I'm here to do an abdominal assessment. Mm -hmm. um, before we get started, do I have your permission to record this video? It's actually going on YouTube, and my professor is going to be grading this, so it's solely for grading purposes that we are doing this recording. Yes. Do I have your permission? Yes. Perfect. Can I go ahead and get started with your first and last name? Karen Gill. And your date of birth? 10 10 03. Perfect. Um, so for the sake of um, this video, we go, go ahead and came up with a fake first and last name and a fake uh, date of birth. Let me go ahead and wash my hands here. Perfect. That is done. Um, to get you in the proper positioning and make sure that your abdominal muscles are relaxed, I'm going to go ahead and place this pillow underneath your knees. Um, perfect. All right, do you feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have you lift up your shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and help you with the, the bottom part, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and assess your um, abdomen here. I'm basically looking for anything protruding, um, any masses, um, any bruising, any you know lumps or anything like that, any discoloration. Um, I don't see any discoloration, I don't see any bumps, I don't see any masses protruding. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just um, let our viewers or my professor know that I'm actually assessing, can you look at my, uh, my eyes? I'm assessing your sclera here and I see no form of jaundice. I see white um, clear sclera, so there's no form of jaundice. I'm assessing your skin right now, I'm inspecting your skin. It's non-diaphoretic, you're not sweating, it's, um, you know, uh, warm, pink, and dry. So after I do your inspection, I'm going to go ahead and move down to your auscultating your um, bowel sounds. And what I'm basically looking for is bowel sounds in all four quadrants, starting off with your right lower quadrant. And um, I'm basically going to be listening for at least five to 30 seconds in each quadrant. I've listened to your bowel sounds for um, five to 30 seconds in each quadrant. I heard bowel sounds in all of them. Next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move down to um, listening to your aorta. It's located two inches right above your umbilicus, okay? I'm gonna listen to it using um, the diaphragm and the bell of the stethoscope. Perfect. I don't hear any burly. I don't hear anything abnormal. I'm going to go and move down to your um, renal arteries. I don't hear any burly and I don't hear anything abnormal. I'm going to go and move down to your um, iliac arteries. Normal. I'm going to go and uh, move down to your femoral arteries, which are located in your groin. Perfect. I noted no um, abnormalities, no burries in all of your um, arteries including your aorta. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and percuss your abdomen. I'm going to start off with the right lower quadrant and I'm just listening for any tympany or any dullness. I hear all four quadrants are tympanic. I hear no um, dullness. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, percuss for your liver.
All right, I feel a little bit of dullness right here. Go ahead and take a deep breath in for me. Hold it. All right, let it out. Perfect, I feel your liver right here. I'm gonna go ahead and check the um, your liver span. Your liver span is eight centimeters. It's considered normal. Six to 12 centimeters is actually normal for a liver span, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and move um, across to over to your spleen here. Um, try to feel for your spleen. Let me know if you feel uncomfortable or t you know pain at, at all. I don't feel your spleen, spleen at all, so that's actually considered normal. Next thing what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a light palpitation, okay? In all four quadrants. Perfect, so actually, um, do you, do you feel any pain? I felt no tenderness. I felt no protruding masses. Um, before I forget though, let me go ahead and move down to your bladder. I'm gonna go ahead and try percussing your bladder. So your bladder is actually, um, I think it's full right now. So I feel a little bit of dullness. Um, it's probably because you need to go to the bathroom. Um, next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a heavier palpitations. If at all you feel um, pain, please let me know. And I'm basically just feeling for anything protruding again, um, any masses and things like that, okay? Starting off with the right lower quadrant. do is I'm going to go ahead and have you take a deep breath for the spleen one more time. All right, let it out. Perfect. Once again, I don't feel your spleen. That means it's not protruding. Um, we're, we're good. Um, next next um, exam that I'm going to do is, is actually for your, um, it's a, called a Murphy sign, basically checking for any colitis, um, uh, any uh, cholecystitis. So go ahead and give me a deep, deep breath in. Let it out. Perfect. All right. Um, any pain? No? Okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check for any appendicitis or your appendix um, inflamed or protruding at all. I'm going to go and do a deep palpitation inside. Perfect. Any pain? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. So um, both we've considered that you don't have cholecystitis and you definitely do not have uh, appendic appendicitis. Um, next thing what we're going to check for is actually your CVA. This is the last exam of the um, of your abdominal exam. So go ahead and swing your legs over this way for me. Perfect. And lift. Um, can you move down this way a little bit more? And then lift your shirt for me. All right. Any pain? Any pain? So this actually, go ahead and face this way. Um, so this actually completes our um, abdominal exam for my professor here who's gonna be grading me. Do you have any questions for me? Okay, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for being patient and uh, I'll see you next time. And let me go and wash my hands. Thank you.